everyone, how are you? <laughs> I know, I did say in my last unboxing video that there won't be luxury unboxings for a while. However, here am I filming yet another one, <laughs> but this is a small one. I managed to find the last items that were on my wish list from Chanel and I wanted to quickly sit down and unbox them with you. One of them was in my actual video that I filmed, the wish list video from Chanel that I filmed and I found the item from the winter for winter collection so I picked it up and the other two items I've been wanting for a while and I finally managed to get so I'll be showing you them as well. There are three little Chanel bags on top of this box here which I can't wait to unbox with you because I picked up something amazing from Fenders for Winter 2019 collection so I can't wait to show you and I have a few bits from Tom Ford so let's get started I can't wait to show you what I got Okay, so I decided to start with this, which is the Fendi item that I ordered from Matches Fashion. These are their signature marble boxes that are so beautiful and I'm very excited for this item. I wanted to start with this because I haven't opened it yet. It's boxed and I can't wait to show you it. I have seen it because I recently went to a Fendi event and I do have a vlog, a very fun Fendi vlog where I show you the beautiful fall winter collection so if you haven't watched it you can click here and check it out. I'm sure you'll love it. If you are Fendi lovers I'm sure you'll love that vlog so make sure you go and watch it. So I browsed the collection then I fell in love with one item and then I looked online and I found it on Matches Fashion and I decided to buy it. So here it is. Let's see. It comes in this box. It is a small item. I told you all these items are quite small. So this will be a quick haul. Let's see, can you guys guess what I picked? Oh my god. Hello, beautiful. So, yep, I picked another ready to wear. Oh my god, I love this. Do you guys remember this from the vlog? If you watched it, I told you that I love this new Fendi print and I ended up buying the Fendi bodysuit. <laughs> This Fendi bodysuit was all over the runway. All the models were wearing it and I loved how they styled it. It is such a versatile piece and I thought that I would pick it up because I love this collection and guys, if you haven't watched the collection, definitely go and check it out. I love all the pieces. The collection is so feminine. It is probably one of my favorite Fendi collections. The way they styled all the pieces in this collection was fantastic. I really loved all the textures and fabrics and I did try to show you that in my vlog and I showed you up close of the buttons that they used, the fabrics, the mix of wool and leather and silk and organza like mesh materials so I fell in love with this show and I definitely want to pick up something from the beautiful Fendi for winter collection and I ended up buying this gorgeous bodysuit. So this bodysuit I got in a size Italian 44 which I think is UK 12 and the bodysuit has a zipper at the back and it has long sleeves and the standard fastening on the bottom like a normal bodysuit. It is very delicate, I love it. It is quite see-through so we'll see how this will look on but I think this will be so easy to style. I'm sure this will quickly become one of my most worn favorite fall winter accessories because I love to layer clothes and I could like when I was browsing and uh, the website and looking at pictures and looking back at the runway show I was getting ideas of how to style it and how to wear it and it's such a versatile piece that you can wear and style in so many different ways you can just wear it on its own you can wear it with a blazer on top you can also wear it with a off the shoulder top it will look stunning with a knitted off the shoulder top and this high neck popping here and on the shoulder you'd be able to see the detail on the shoulder and the 
um, high neck. And also it will look stunning with knitwear that has cut out um, so the FFs are showing in the mesh material or with a plain knitted top with the sleeves rolled up so the long sleeves of the bodysuit are showing. I'll style it in a few different ways so I can give you some ideas but honestly I think I'll have so much fun styling this because there are so many ways you can wear it. All the pieces are so beautiful and so feminine. I think this was actually the last Fendi show that Cal worked on. Actually, ahead of the show, Fendi described the collection as a love letter to Cal. I also read something very interesting in an article that I wanted to read to you. It's a, I'll just quote it. But basically, all the guests received a card from Venturi um, and it was a handwritten message on the cards. And it was saying, the bond between Karl Lagerfeld and Fendi is fashion's longest love story. One that will continue to touch our lives for years to come. How beautiful is this? So yeah, this is my pick from the Fall Winter Collection, which I think is a must. And I think this will be really hot, trendy piece this season. So pick it up while it's still available, because I think it will sell out. It's already selling out, so yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Next, I will start unboxing these little Chanel baggies with you. So let's see, oh, that's the big one. Okay, I think I wanted to leave this last, but I'll just start with this. Guys, this is something amazing that I have been searching for a couple of months <laughs> and it was always sold out. I knew it was gonna come eventually but it's a pair of um, earrings and as you can tell from the box it's a big pair of earrings I really wanted a big statement pair of earrings from Chanel and initially I was looking at the big CC clip-ons I've shown you those in a vlog however I remembered these and oh my god they're so nice so why is it just one? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I thought there was only one earring, so the other one was at the back, I'll show you. I remember it's about these, and I was like, I actually prefer these to the big CC um, clip-ons. So these are the big statement Chanel earrings that I picked up, and the other one, initially when I opened the box, I only saw this one and I was like, oh my god, where is the other one, but they put it at the back, so here it is. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> New Chanel big statement earrings these were a splurge these are very expensive they're clip-ons i wanted clip-ons for big statement earrings uh larger earrings i prefer clip-ons the other ones would pull my ear so i would prefer clip-ons so this is how they look what do you guys think i think they'll look so nice with knitwear in the winter for events they're such a beautiful statement earring so you can put on a very plain outfit together with these on and it will make the outfit look so fabulous so these i didn't know if i should buy because they are so expensive they are the price of a cartier love ring and I know Chanel costume jewelry is very expensive. I should really stop buying it. And I think these will be the last costume jewelry pieces that I would buy for a while now. Because I already spent so much on costume jewelry. It's crazy. I could have bought diamond necklaces and rings from Cartier instead. But anyway, I really wanted these. And I don't have big statement pair of earrings from Chanel. So these are my new beauties so these gorgeous pair of earrings were the first item that i picked up and i love them do you guys like let me know in the comments i can't wait to wear them and style them they're so fabulous all right let's move on i will continue with this so this is another piece of costume jewelry What is this? Let's see, I think I know. Yeah, I know, I know what this is now. 
because the other box is smaller so I can tell. So this item was on my wish list. Do you guys remember? I finally found it, the beautiful heart Chanel brooch with the pearls from the Fall Winter 2019 collection. This one, none of the boutiques had when the collection launched. They said they didn't buy it and they said they might get them later on because they'll keep receiving stock. So my say messaged me two weeks. It's been like, I think two, two and a half weeks since the collection launched. And she messaged me and said that they received the brooch, but they haven't received the matching pair of earrings. To be honest, I don't really want the earrings that much. I really wanted the brooch, however. So I'm very happy that I managed to get it. That was the last item from the Fall Winter 2019 collection that I really wanted to get. It is so beautiful and I can't wait to wear it on coats and knitwear. And I actually want to wear it as a pendant necklace. I thought this will be a bit smaller. It looks quite big. <laughs> um, I wish it was slightly smaller. Um, but yeah, I can still wear it as a pendant on a thicker chain. And um, yeah, can't wait to style it. It will look amazing on denim jackets because of the pearls. It's really, really cute. All right, let's see what's in the next little baggy that's the last item that i bought and this i'll be honest i already unboxed and i wore straight away like i couldn't wait so let's complete my look today because i feel a bit naked without these i have been wearing these on my instagram so, so some of you uh, have probably seen them on my stories and you know what this is it's another pair of earrings and it's these cuties. How adorable are these earrings? I love them. I wanted a, a pair of everyday earrings and I think these are perfect. They go with everything. I love that they're gold with the leather, classic leather um, detail that you know has on all the classic flap bags and they are quite small they're not that big so um, they're perfect for every day they're very light I remember these came for spring 2019 with the spring collection but instead of the leather they were with crystals and I believe they were slightly bigger um, but they had little crystals I think I showed you them in my um, Chanel shopping vlog the spring summer I think I have a video and I showed you those um, but I really wanted the ones with the leather detail because I think they're really good for every day and yeah, really cute. I'll try them on and show you how they look on. Let me know which was your favorite uh, costume jewelry that I just showed you from Chanel. Was it the statement earrings, these or the brooch? Leave me a comment. Now that I put on my new earrings on, I think that the look is finally complete. I wanted to wear these throughout the whole video, but I also had to unbox them. So anyway, let me show you the last item. It suddenly got really dark and it started raining. So I better hurry up before it gets even darker. So I picked up a few bits from Tom Ford. It looks like it's a, well, it is, it doesn't look, it is a really big uh, bag, but inside I have three products. So you know that I've been using Tom Ford beauty products for the longest time. I'm the biggest fan. I love Tom Ford makeup and it is very expensive, but the quality is up there it is probably one of the best beauty brands and it is my favorite so I wanted to pick up some new Tom Ford and I can't wait to show you because all these um, three are amazing and I think you will love as well I was very happy because I got all these 20% off and it's always nice to get a discount on Tom Ford because it's so expensive and I did tell you guys on my Instagram so if you're not following me on my Instagram maybe you should come and um, say hello on my Instagram because I do tell you guys every time I find good deals, sales, some amazing new items I also show you how I style my new pieces so if you're interested, come say hello on my Instagram. But let me show you what I ended up buying from Tom Ford. So the first one is this. Uh, Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Color in the color 
03 golden peach and it's in this beautiful gold uh, packaging that they do for their summer collection, their soleil collections. The packaging is so beautiful, Tom Ford packaging and the products are fantastic. So this is what I bought and it is this cream eyeshadow on the bottom. I'll show you a close up. So this is the cream eyeshadow on the bottom and then on the top there is a pressed eyeshadow and a little mirror which is a really nice detail if you want to apply it on the go. So this is the first product and I'm actually wearing it today. So if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes today, it is this beautiful product. It is perfect and the color is so complimentary on every skin tone. I love peachy, pinky peachy colors and this is amazing. You can only use the bottom cream eyeshadow which is beautiful pinky shade pinky peachy shade and the pressed eyeshadow on the top is golden and I apply it only in the center of um, the eye and it looks beautiful. So this is the first product that I bought from Tom Ford. So the next product is this. This is a new product for me from Tom Ford. I've seen it around but I haven't tried it and I wanted to try it. So now that I saw it was discounted I was like ha! great timing let me give it a go this is the tom ford lip lacquer Lux. so this one is in the color 02 quiver and it's in the matte version they also have it in the lacquer uh, like shiny glossy version i picked up the matte one and this is what's on my lips today for the past i would say year um, maybe a bit more than a year, I've been wearing only one lipstick non-stop and it's my favorite Tom Ford lipstick and you still guys keep asking me what I'm wearing and it's always the same answer, it's always the same one and I always link it in the description box. So now I have a new favorite and it is this one which is a more pinky shade if I want to change it up a little bit and it's very comfy although it's like a matte finish. It's very comfortable on the lips and it doesn't dry up my lips. So yeah, this is the next one that I bought. And talking about the one that I always use and I always wear, the beautiful nude color, I found another dupe. So I don't know if you guys remember the one that I discovered was a limited edition one from the... What was that collection called? The Lips and Boys collection that comes out every year. The colors from these collections are always limited, so once they're gone, they're gone. And I ended up buying three of the same lipstick and I used them all up. And I was desperately trying to find a dupe from Tom Ford again, and I did find one. So I've been linking the dupe because the original one that I found and the one that I've been loving got sold out. I discovered a dupe and the dupe is also a Tom Ford one and I always link it in my videos. Now I found a new dupe and it's again from Tom Ford. So this is the same color, maybe slightly different shade but almost identical and of course I had to pick it up. So this is the lip color satin matte and it's in the color 16 London suede and it is beautiful. I haven't used it yet because I still have some left of the other one that I'm currently using but honestly they're almost identical. So if you are looking for the same color definitely try it out. It is the perfect nude. I honestly wear this every single day and I love it. So yeah I'll link both of them. Um, if you want to try them out, they're honestly my most favorite lipsticks in the world. <laughs> so yeah. Alright guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget that everything will be linked down in the description box if you're interested. And also come follow me on my other social media platforms. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so so much for watching and I will guys see you in my next video. Bye.